good afternoon or actually it's morning um so this as you can tell from the title which is kind of late is my august sewing plants video this should be interesting because um i'm going to try and do a lot which you know we're about to go on another heat wave starting tuesday and uh, I think uh, the air conditioning on, I'm not going to want to go out. So I'm going to just really dedicate myself to sewing and dealing with patterns for Etsy. Um, if you watched my last video, I know some of you did. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that commented about my mental health. Thank you to everybody that shared um, their personal stories of depression and, and issues with mental health. I, I think it's so vital that we don't, you know, hide this um issue for exactly the reason that i was talking about in the last video Pe people die because they're scared to talk about it because they're so stigmatized so my plans for august okay so one of my my plans for way back in june were to make like this dress right with this fabric remember that remember that plan this beautiful fabric this dress which, by the way, I'm still going to do. Um, I think I'm going to use, it's a toss-up. I have these beautiful buttons. Or I can do these smaller buttons, which I haven't decided on yet. Now, I was also going to use this fabric and make another shirt dress out of this. I only have four yards of this. And I came across this pattern in my stash. And I really like this view. Now, uh, you can use woven fabrics. It, it, I think it would look beautiful in rayon as a tea dress, but I think that you can use woven. It doesn't say anything about not wo using woven fabrics in the um, directions, so I'm gonna give it a try. And I think I'm gonna do this. And I think what I'm gonna do is do some faux buttons with these beautiful vintage buttons, maybe on like the sleeves. I'm thinking I have five of these. So I'm thinking um, like, one on either sleeve and then the other three down the front like in a faux faux button kind of looking thing right okay so another thing i'm working on which i'm not going to show you a pattern for even though i have a pattern in front of me which might be perfect for it is remember this beautiful blend fabric that i have i think i'm going to make an a-line skirt out of this and i quite honestly have I don't even know how many A-line skirt patterns I have. I have patterns that came with an A-line skirt in the wardrobe of the pattern. I have individual A-line skirt patterns, but this is a nice summery navy cotton poly blend. I think I figured out that it was like 50-50, and but it's perfect for like washing up, you know, it'll wash up really nice. And I do have, now this was interesting. This was in a pattern haul that I did. I'm gonna take it out of the bag for you. The pattern haul that I did, through um, Goodwill. Now, if you never work with Berta, Berta does not give you the assigned 3 8 space in the cutting pattern. So, and they're a German company. Okay, so in an American pattern like this one, when you look at the pattern, the cutting line for your size includes a dotted line, which is the, the 5 8 right? Okay. Berta doesn't do that. Now, interestingly, their size 20, um, I'm sorry, their size 22 fits me perfectly. So I am going to attempt a Berta pattern. I might even do this with the Berta pattern. Uh, if you look at it, it's just, it's basically a play suit, but it's a 1980s version of the play suit. And I might do the skirt because look, it's a button front, kind of a picnic skirt. So I might do that instead of an A-line. If not, I'm definitely gonna think about doing these. These are just like a long, large kind of um, play suit kind of uh, short, you know, like a, they're not really, I, I don't think they're really considered Bermuda because they're not tighter to the leg, but maybe, I don't know. Okay, so speaking of Goodwill, I went in the other day didn't find anything I wanted except this bolt of just plain old white fabric 
and yes, you saw that, $5.99. You can't beat it. There's at least there's at least a yard on here. I think there's close, I think there's close to three yards. I haven't actually measured it yet, but I gotta I have to wash it. I haven't even taken the price tag off. I need to wash it and then I'll measure it out and put it back on the bolt. But this is just like a basic muslin fabric. I could use it for a shirt. I could use it to make a mock-up. I could do anything I really want with it. So we'll see what I do with that, but I am gonna wash it because it, it smells a little funky. It smells like a basement, you know, like grandma's basement, right? Um, now the next thing I'm working on, okay. Remember the beautiful blue and white window pane dress that the bodice didn't fit me, even though I followed the directions to, you know, the letter. Okay, so bear with me because this is gonna get bumpy, guys. This is gonna get weird. In the pattern haul I just did, there was this pattern. It's like a schlocky 1950s Greece, you know, Halloween costume pattern. And I was looking at it, I was like, oh, well, you know, it's it goes up to my size. And I'm thinking, you know, it is a good circle skirt pattern, not that you need a pattern for circle skirts. So I flipped it over and I'm looking at it. And I realized this uh, actually has a crinoline pattern included, the circle skirt, and this shirt. And it occurred to me that I, I have a, lo a lot of that extra, a, a lot of that uh, blue and white window pane fabric left over. And it occurred to me, I can take it apart. I'll take the bodice off, the sleeves, anything I can salvage, take the skirt, make the skirt into this circle skirt, and then make the, remake the top as much as I can salvage into this shirt, which is just basically a camp shirt. Um, but look at it, it's really cute. If you look at the front, it's actually super cute. Like here's the detail, I won't do a contrast like this, but it's cute, it's just a notched collar shirt. And I thought, well, that's a good way of saving that fabric because I love that fabric. I had so many plans to wear that this summer and never wore it because I had screwed it up. And, you know, this is the cautionary tale of when you look at a pattern, you need to look at your size. You need to always know your measurements. And if you have to take them again, even if you took them a couple days ago, always double check them. But you also need to look at the finished garment. So what I did was I split the difference between the actual cutting out of the pattern, my size, and what the finished garment size was. And somewhere I screwed up the math because it was too tight in the chest. Now this could be a combination of a lot of things. Remember at the time I was telling you guys I thought it was the bra, but then I got a different bra and it was still didn't work. Um, it could be a lot of things. I mean, honestly, all of this stuff is not 100%. These measurements, they can be off too, you know. So, so that's my plan. This is this is a weird pattern. By the way, this is I went out on Etsy before I decided to keep this. This is like a three dollar pattern, so I'm not losing money on it. But it's kind of interesting when you look at it because I see people talk about wondering where they can get, they can get a crinoline pattern, and here here's this three dollar pattern for you know this horrible grease costume, right? This Halloween poodle skirt costume, which. I didn't check to see if the transfer for the poodle skirt is in there, but it might be. But it has the crinoline. It's got the long crinoline, the short crinoline. It's got an apron. It's got the circle skirt, and it's got the little blouse. I think it even has, yeah, it has, it has the scarf. Yeah, it has, not the hat. It doesn't have the hat. It has this little scarf right here. Not that, I don't, I don't know who needs a scarf pattern. It's a piece of fabric, but whatever. Um, so... Those are my plans for August. We'll see what happens. Um, it did cool down here. It rained over the weekend, but Tuesday we're getting more heat. And I, you can already feel it. The temperature's already going up. Like, I'm already f spitzing in here because, you know, it's crazy. And you can, and everybody, you can tell what the humidity's out by looking at my hair. My hair is always a good register of how high the humidity is at any given time in an area. So... Anyway, those are my plans for August. I'm pretty excited about them. I just want to do some sewing, but you know, life always gets in the way, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'll do as much as I can. Um, I'm putting a bunch of stuff up on Etsy. I'm putting a bunch of stuff up on Poshmark. Um, I'm putting some stuff on Mercari. So as I, I might start including those uh, links, if you guys are interested in looking. And I did, for any of you who are interested, I started a sale on my Etsy page, which I have the link below, 
for all the like little girls summer dresses dresses in general that I had on there all my kids clothes basically the only thing I didn't put up there was pajamas I always put pajamas up around Christmas time because that's when people like to make like matching pajamas and stuff but if you like to sew for children take a look at my Etsy page like I said the link is down below I just basically took 10% off all of or no I'm sorry I took 15 I took 15% off all of my little kids clothes for back to school if anybody's interested and until the next video I hope all of you are feeling well I feel like my funk is lifting a little bit I'm feeling a little better um, again, thank you so much for everybody that commented. I'm really glad to hear other people's stories and I'm glad that other people feel comfortable enough to talk about this with me. And until the next video, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I uh, put videos up. I hopefully I'll be doing it more often. And until the next one, I hope everybody's well, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.